Hello friends, welcome to Stock Trading Tutor channel. I used to make tutorial video based on stock market. Guys, if you want to join my free technical classes, you can give a miss call on 9606046814. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe my channel so that uh, uh, I can give you a free technical classes series one by one daily. And uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the NBFC, which is non-banking financial company. So uh, what is a non-banking financial company? Uh, today in this video, I'm going to explain about the history also and how to register in RBI. So a non-banking financial company is a company registered under the Company Act uh, 1956 engaged in the business on the loan and advance acquisition of a share, stock, bonds, uh, debentures, securities issued by the government or a local authority of other marketable securities of a, a like uh, nature, leasing, higher purchase, insurance, business, cheat business and uh, but does not uh, include any institution uh, whose principal business uh, is that uh, of agriculture activity, industrial activity, purchase or sales of the, any goods. So, or providing any services uh, and sales, purchase, construction or of uh, immovable uh, properties. A non-banking institution uh, which is company and has a principal business of receiving deposits under any scheme or uh, arrangement in the one lump sum or in install installments by way of contribution or in any other manner is also non-banking financial company. So let me tell you about the history of this NBFC in India. The Reserve Bank of India Act 1934 uh, amendment on one day on uh, 1st of December 1964 by Reserve Bank of uh, uh, Amendment Act 1963. In this uh, chapter, uh, uh, third B introduction of uh, regulate uh, deposit uh, as affecting uh, NBFC. Different types of uh, com committees or uh, review exist framework of nbfc uh, james s raj committee was the first and in early 1970 government of india asked banking commission to study the functioning of a cheat fund and uh, examining uh, activities of non-banking financial intermediaries in 1972 uh, banking commissions recommended uniform cheat fund uh, legislation to whole country and the reserve bank of india prepared the model bill uh, to regulate the regulate the conduct of a cheat fund and uh, referred to study group under the uh, chairmanship of the James S. Raj. So in uh, June 1974, a study group recommend, uh, recommended uh, the ban on the price uh, cheat and uh, other schemes uh, directed the parliament of uh, uh, intact uh, uh, bill uh, which uh, ensures uh, uniformity uh, in the provision uh, applicable to cheat fund throughout the country. So parliament intact two acts, uh, price cheat and uh, money circulation schemes uh, banning act uh, 1978 and cheat fund act 1982. So uh, Chakravarti committee is uh, now during uh, the planning era. Reserve Bank of India tried best to manage the money and involve sound monetary system by uh, no much appreciable success in uh, realizing the social objectives of the monetary policy of the country. In December 1982, Dr. Manmohan Singh, governor uh, of uh, RBI appointed committee under the chairmanship of the professor uh, Sukhan Mahi Chakravati uh, and uh, to review that uh, functioning of the monetary system in India. So committee recommended assi uh, assignment uh, uh, to offer link, links uh, among the bank sectors and the non-banking financial institution and unorganized uh, sectors to evaluate the various instruments of uh, uh, monetary and credit policy in the terms of their in, uh, impact on the credit uh, system and economy. So if we talk about the types of NBFC in India, uh, asset finance uh, company AFC, investment company IEC and loan company LC, infrastructure finance company IFC, uh, infrastructure debit fund, non-banking financial company IDF, NBFC is there. So NBFC factors uh, uh, also there and gold loan NBFC is in India is also there and uh, uh, residuary non-banking companies are also there rnbc 
so uh, let us uh, tell you something about uh, the difference between an nbfc and bank nbfc performs the functions uh, similar to the bank but uh, there are a few difference provides the bank banking service to uh, people without holding a bank license an nbmc uh, cannot uh, aspect that a demand deposit and nbfc is not a part of the payment and uh, settlement system and as such an nbfc cannot issue the check drawn on its itself and uh, deposit insurance facilities of the deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation is uh, not available for nbfc deposit is unlike banks an nbfc is uh, not uh, required to maintain a uh, uh, reverse ratio ccrr slr an nbfc cannot uh, ind indulged in uh, primarily in agriculture industrial activities sales purchase construction and immovable properties foreign investment allowed to up to 100% so what does the conducting financial activities as the principal business means the financial activity as a principal business mean is uh, when a company financial assets uh, uh, constitute uh, more than 50% of the total assets and income from the financial assets can constitute a more than 50% of gross income a company uh, which fulfill both this uh, criteria like uh, will be uh, registered as a nbfc by rbi so in terms of the prison, uh, principal business is not uh, defined by the reserve bank of india act and uh, if you talk about uh, uh interestingly uh, this uh, test is properly known as the 5050 test and is uh, uh, applied to determine whether or not the company is <clears throat> into the financial bank so uh, is is it uh, necessary that every nbfc should be registered with uh, uh, rbi is uh, one of the question here in terms of section 451a of the rbi act 1934 no non banking financial company can co commerce or carry on business um, of an nbfc institute uh, without uh, obtaining a certificate of registration from the bank and without having a net owned fund of rupees 25 lakhs so however in terms of uh, power given to the bank to obviate uh, the well regulations certain categories of nbfc which are regulated by other regulators Uh, are ex exempted uh, from the requirement of registration with RBI. So uh, venture capital fund, uh, merchant uh, banking finance uh, companies, and uh, stock uh, broking companies registered with uh, CB. So the insurance companies are holding uh, a valid certificate of registration issued by IRDA. So the Nidhi company has notified under Section 620A of the Companies Act 1956. So the Chit companies, uh, uh, as defined as a Clause B of the Section 2 of the Chit Fund Act 1982, housing finance companies regulated by the National Housing Bank, uh, Stock Exchange, or uh, mutual benefit companies. So if we talk about what are the requirements of registration with the RBI, means a company incorporated under the Company Act of 1956 and uh, uh, the series of the com commissioning uh, business on of a non-banking financial institution as defined under the Section 451A uh, of the RBI Act 1934 should compile with the following. The first is it should be company registered under Section Three of uh, Company Act 1956, and it should have the minimum net owned fund of 200 lakhs. So the last question here, we will see what are the power of uh, Reserve Bank of uh, uh, Reserve Bank with regard to NBFC, that is companies uh, that meet in the 50/50 principal business criteria. So the Reserve Bank has been given the power under the RBI Act 1934 to register, lay down policy, issues direction, uh, direction, inspect, regulate, uh, supervise, and exercise uh, the surveillance uh, over the NBFC that meet uh, the 50/50 criteria of the principal business. The Reserve Bank can penalize the NBFC for violating the provision of RBI Act on the direction or other. orders issued by the rbi under rbi act the penal action can also result in rbi cancelling the financial or you can say the certificate of uh, registration issued to the nbfc or prohibiting them from the expect, uh, accepting the deposit and alternate uh, alternating and uh, their assets or filing or winding up petitions so here is some overviews of a regulator of non banking companies you can see the flow chart i have shown here 
so in the same way uh, nbfc of the non uh, financial companies regulations supervision surveillance under the company act 1956 and uh, regulators of ministry of the corporate also affair is uh, uh, included in the mca so enforcement agency is uh, nothing but uh, non but the state government only so friends thank you for watching this video if you are having doubt queries regarding the uh, nbfc you can give a miss call on 9600468168 and if you are new to this channel please subscribe like and share